And I guess if you experience stuff and you live through them, if you live long enough, I guess you become a walking historian. And sometimes I've experienced, I felt that would never, the people would never know about. You know, I felt that if I died, those experiences would die. And I was, I had the privilege of functioning and living with beautiful people, beautiful brothers. And I said, man, if the world don't know about these people, they get to know about some of them. I said, man, if the world don't get to know about these people, Nobody will never even know what black people was really about. Mm -hmm. What we really, how we really stood up. Yes, and we wasn't no punks and we <coughs> wasn't no cowards. You know, and we represented, man, we represented principle. Yes, sir. We didn't move off of ego mm -hmm. or pride or try to bully nobody. Yes, sir. We had principles, man. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was, oh, when I wanted to say, you know, I responded to this. Invitation is like I always respond to my people. I can't never say no to my people. So they got on me. I can't never say no. You know, I got to go. got to be there for my people. But um, I just wanted to share this one thing that over the years became more significant with me. I was a long time ago. I've been in prison 45 years. But this was before that. I was only out eight months before I experienced a 45 year prison term. And I was released from over <coughs> And I was a juvenile over in North Block. And an incident happened, a riot happened, and the guy died. And they charged me and some other people with the murder, and they put us in old man. And I was 19 year old. I stayed in there two years. I was um, like a 19-year-old, 18-year-old, 19-year-old, and um, I began to get toward my 21st birthday, and they was going to have to let me go because I was a juvenile committed. Um, during this period of time, I had a chance to know people like uh, uh, Hugo Pinnell, Yogi, Howard George. When she has to call out, I had to call his name. One of my heroes, an unsung hero, that you guys, that you people can never know except maybe through the spirits of us. Mm. You know, Yogi, you know, was what they call lace my boots. How told. Mm. W.L. Nolan, yes, he was right there. We trained together, you know. You talk about courage. I was willing to die with these people and felt like I had accomplished something. You know, I willingly. You know, that's the kind of love. He's talking about the camaraderie. That's the kind of love. We didn't even, man, it was reached a point. We didn't even question each other. We didn't even question whether this dude would support me, whether they would support me or not. 